So a while back, I ran a campaign using Google Ads and I was able to track my conversions. As you can see here, I had um, I had 92 conversions and 82 conversions. That's all conversions. I also had something called conversions as 21 and 16. What's the difference? All conversions. I had that as page views, people who landed on this particular page, and then 21 of those people converted out of the 92, and then 82 individuals landed on the page, and 16 converted, which they gave me their name and email address. Um, and then I think three people out of that also purchased a $97 product. How am I able to track all of this? You do this through something called conver conversion tracking with Google Ads. In this specific campaign, this was not a search campaign. This was a YouTube ad campaign, uh, but both are done through Google. There's no other way to do it. Well, Google ads. And so in this video, I want to show you how to track conversions, conversion tracking, however you want to say it, so that you can know the most important thing. You can know how to do this most important thing so that you can track your customers, so that you can know your numbers. Uh, and so most importantly as well, Google can learn the type of customer that you need for your specific funnel website, Shopify store, e-commerce store, whatever, retail business, find more similar customers and that your ad spend can go down and your conversion costs will be something of a beauty. Stay tuned. I'm going to cover everything here with this campaign. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this because I, I got a few things that I want to show you guys how to do conversion tracking for your website for 2022 going into 2023. They've kind of changed some things around. Uh, there's some updates. Some people got questions about it. I've gotten a couple questions about it. Everybody does it different, and that's because those are typically older videos. Okay, so I want to just Pretty much jump into these campaigns this is a real campaign that i did and the campaign was for a uh a five-day challenge that i did in a facebook group and i needed to capture information so let's go ahead and check out the page first i just jumped into my click funnels account this is the page that i built the funnel and as you can see it's called clickbank cash flow on demand with this particular thing this is kind of like a test i was trying to sell something else on the back end but I'm not going to get into that in this video. I can if you guys want me to. Um, I was trying to sell a $2,000 course on the back end. So, but this is not the video for that. So this is a page that I built. I'm proud of this page. The page is pretty dope. But once people land on this page, once they click my ad, uh, remember it's from YouTube. It could have been the same thing with a Google search ad. This was not join the waitlist. Now this was like sign up. Once they click that, they give me their name and their email address, and then it submits them. So now I want that to count as a conversion, which is right here. All right. This will make sense in a second. Then they land on my thank you page. And the thank you page is a video of me welcoming them, give them more information as to the day of when the, the challenge starts because it was on a particular day. Um, and then, you know, I had some links over to my Facebook group and uh, some bonuses that I was offering, all of that. Now, you see my funnel. Let's go back to Google so that we can see what this looks like and we can make sense of all of this. Um, let's go ahead and jump over to, to conversions first. So you go to tools and settings, then you click conversions. After that, you will notice I have a number of different conversions uh, created already. This is one of my accounts, by the way. I have multiple accounts. I'm not going to get into the details of how I did that, but uh, this is the only account I have. So um, 
this particular one I did this challenge on and you can see page views okay page views is 138 that is the 92 plus 60 whatever amount that you saw for the all conversions and then the signups which is the conversion after they fall on the thank you page that lets me know that somebody successfully signed up for my challenge I had 36 so if we go ahead and do these numbers we do 36 divided by 138 I think it was that's a 26 percent opt-in rate not the greatest but not bad and that's without me tweaking anything and that's without me having a whole bunch of ad groups and all that other stuff I hit the minimum typically uh, I teach people how to reach between 25 to 35 percent uh, minimum opt-in rate you definitely want to get that up a lot higher towards like 40 and 50 percent how do you do this how do you get to the point to where you can track every penny and dime so that you can make more money because ultimately right the higher conversions that you get at a lower cost you're able to make more money let's go ahead and jump into this we'll hit new conversion action we want website and this is kind of the new part that a lot of people have not encountered um, with a lot of older videos out there that I've seen on YouTube. I'm just going to put in my website, AntonioXCarter.com. Go ahead and check that out. So it has to scan your website, whatever website you put in there, to see if you have a pixel, a Google pixel. I already have one for this website, so it's going to say, hey, you got a uh, you have a pixel already would you like to do a page load all that means is you can select from these different categories here or these different uh, conversion types and you can select from here what you want um, let's say they fall on my landing page and I had a paid product once they purchase that product I want to make it a purchase I would put the website in there I would probably say URL contains and I would do add but I don't want to do that this is a newer way I have not really tested that out I've typically used the old school way because I feel like I got control over it and this is what you have to do anyway if this is not set up so Let's go ahead and click add a conversion action manually. We are going to, in this case, track either a submit lead form or a sign up, whichever one you want to. When it comes to email signups, you select either one. Uh, I would probably say submit lead form. Then this can be challenge YouTube lead form test. that's an LF that's not if you have the option of setting a amount for uh, that lead so if somebody purchased a product and if we did purchase and you had a $60 product you put 60 here and every time somebody would have that conversion it would be $60 different values for each conversion you may have a funnel with upsells and downsells so each conversion would be valued at something different they may start with seven dollars and then the next page you may have a ninety seven dollar um, thing so we're not doing neither neither of those here I don't want to add a value to none of it I just simply want to count it as a conversion and then count every or one we're going to do one because one person once they submit and fall on my thank you page I just want it to count as one conversion I don't want them jumping on my thank you page 15 times and all of a sudden I got 15 conversions no you know everything needs to be unique count as one click through conversion uh, stay with me here on this one so click through conversion if you can imagine that a cookie or a tracking code sticks with every user that touches my page 
that will stay on there for 30 days. That will stay with the user for 30 days or up to a very long time. <laughs> you can change it to says 60, 90. And the reason for that is because sometimes it takes people a long time to make a decision about a product or a service or whatever it, the case may be, right? Um, here, engaged view conversion, that is for YouTube, that's for videos uh, after video engagement. That cookie can stay with them for three days. I'm just calling it cookie. It's not really called cookie, but and then the view through conversion window kind of go hands in hand with the click through version window. This will make more sense. Um, it'll make more sense for the 30 day one. I have one day and that's because I want the user to make a fast decision. I don't want a user who takes 30 days to make a decision about something. I want somebody who takes one day to make the decision about it. If they choose not to make the decision and opt into my page after one day, it is okay because they still have up to 30 days, right? Being tracked by Google to make that decision. And I can still count them as a conversion on my page, right? So hopefully that makes sense between these two things there. I'm just going to keep everything at default 30, three and one. Don't worry about everything else. Um, I'm not going to get into this part. Uh, last click data driven, blah, blah, blah. I like last click, but like I said, leave it the same. Then we're going to do done. So now you see we have a submit lead form conversion called challenge YouTube LF test. Then we're going to do save and continue. Now it's going to give us the code. All right. So you can take this code and shove it up. No, I'm just playing. But you're going to take this code. You're going to copy it. This is your Google tag information. And with that, you're going to go to ClickFunnels or WordPress or what is it? Uh, not lead forms. Uh, whatever the lead pages. And you're going to find a place where you can put your code so that this one code can be put on all of your link of your of your website pages or your landing pages whatever you want to call them web pages you can only paste it one time and it'll do it for you now i already have some here i'm not going to do that uh because i don't know what code that is but you're going to come here to your head tracking and paste it and so click funnels is going to put that code on all of my landing pages okay within this funnel all of these uh pages over here and then after I do that, I'm going to come back over here. And then I'm going to take this snippet, the snippet itself, copy, because this is going to tell me that once I go to the thank you page, a user goes to the thank you page, I can paste this here and I will know that the user has made it from my landing page over to the thank you page thus causing a conversion so if I hit tracking code I got a lot of stuff here you see Google site tag um, I possibly put the wrong one here but let's just say theoretically I put the snippet code in there boom event snippet for challenge YouTube LF test conversion so this right here lets me know that there's a conversion. You see that right there? Boom, conversion, event conversion. Okay, so I can do that and I would hit save and then I'd be good. So let's close, done. And here, where's it at? We did signups, lead form. Yeah, challenge YouTube LF test. It's right there, right? All we would do is go to the page, send some traffic to the page, and um, let's see here. 
you would download this that's Microsoft here we are so I downloaded a Chrome extension and the Chrome extension is called tag assistant I'm going to enable that and we're going to refresh the page and as you see I have multiple tags here this shows me if I match up this number 108668 I don't know if this will be the same one or not let's see one zero eight six six eight yep that's the correct one okay perfect so what I just did was I had to match the numbers to make sure that it was the correct uh, Google tag number or uh, conversion tag because you can possibly have multiple Google conversion tags from different accounts and stuff and um, and you won't be able to tell which one is yours so we got that taken care of you now have your conversion goals set now you're able to go back to your campaigns we'll do one more thing you come to columns you're going to go to conversions again we're in the campaigns I selected my campaign and then what I do I think I messed up Oh, we're going to go to modify columns then you're going to go to conversions and you can select all conversions right here if you want to all right then you'll hit apply and so the way that I have mine set I have the uh, page view snippet upon my website and then I also have the lead form snippet on my website now I can see all those conversions here all right so hopefully that made sense let me know if you have any questions upon using uh, click funnels I also have a way to, that you can save up to seven hundred dollars if you use click funnels um, if you're paying the regular monthly price there's a way to bypass all of that and get an extremely discounted amount on that use my affiliate link down below and my link takes you over to that page so that you can do that also if you're into affiliate marketing uh, you want to learn how to make Clickbank profits off of for, for yourself using PPC ads like uh, Google ads and Bing ads there's a course down below in the description in which you can actually make up to $3,500 per week it's taught by a gentleman named Yvonne Mana and uh, I, I, I've spoken to him I haven't spoken to him recently but he's a good guy a lot of stuff that I've learned I've learned from him okay so I recommend his course and if you're also looking into making six figures your first six figures in six to nine months using free marketing okay it's going to take a little bit of hustle though uh, that link is also down below I highly recommend that course that's how I run my business outside of uh, paid advertising itself all right guys so please go ahead hit that subscribe button help me hit 3,000 before the year 2023 ends we will see you soon